Sorry about that. Please welcome to the program uh, Senator Richard Ojeda, Democrat from Logan County. Richard, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Hoppy. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Okay, so you are pushing a bill on the Senate side. It failed. Uh, the, the House version failed. But uh, to legalize marijuana use for medicinal purposes, make your pitch. We're listening. Right. Well, this is, you know, what, what failed over in the House is when they were trying to basically remove marijuana from Schedule 1 narcotic. They chose that it should stay there. Schedule 1 narcotic is heroin, it's crystal methamphetamine, and, and you know, drugs like that. I, I absolutely do not think that marijuana should be considered in the same category. My bill, uh, SB 386, is to allow for doctors to be able to prescribe medicinal marijuana you know 22 veterans are committing suicide every day across the United States of America as a person it's a retired military man I look at those people as my brothers and sisters and this is an opportunity for them to relieve some assistance uh, you know, I've been watching videos for a, for quite a long time in reference to people with Parkinson's disease, people with, uh, I got a family member that's got multiple sclerosis, it, just all sorts of different types of illnesses that are showing results from medicinal marijuana. Uh, there's a video of a young girl who strikes herself repeatedly that her parents basically have to hold her down. You know, if you could give her a nebulizer with vapors that will allow her to stop hitting herself and that was your child, would you not be willing to go with something like that? Senator Richard Ojeda is with his Democrat Logan County, his bill for uh, to legalize marijuana for medicinal purposes. I, when I brought this up to someone who's opposed to this, they said, look, there's already a drug on the market which uses the active ingredient for marijuana and it's called Marinol, which I think has the THC or some form of THC in it. And, and it's for relief of nausea, it's for uh, chronic pain, those kinds of things. So their pushback was, why do you need to smoke marijuana when you can get a doctor to prescribe Marinol and have the same thing? Well, if you have a child that is going through a seizure and there's a nasal spray that two squirts will stop that seizure within 30 seconds, how can you give that child Marinol? If you are going through chemotherapy, which gives you bouts of nausea, well, guess what? The smoking of marijuana is the only thing that will give you immediate relief on the spot. And that's why, you know, I, got, I understand, I, I, I'm all for Marinol, uh, but there also has to be some of the other derivatives out there that can be used for certain reasons. If the doctor, a person that has the education, makes a decision that this is what he thinks is best, if it's a gummy to give to a child with severe ADHD or, or a child going through childhood cancer that will help that child be able to control the pain, then let that doctor be the one to make that decision. Richard, the, the bill, and, and again, there was, it failed in the House, but, but as you said, there was an attempt to amend a bill in the House, and it, it, they had a big debate, it got defeated, and you know the makeup of the House, you know that the House Speaker is very much against, is against this, so in the Senate, maybe, I don't know, but, but is, is it worth pursuing when you know it, it's not going to happen in the House, even if you got it through the Senate, if I, it gets through the Senate? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I think that it is worth pursuing because I believe that if it hits the House floor, it will pass. Uh, you know, the Senate President, uh, Mitch Carmichael, he absolutely said he agrees with the bill. He likes it. He says it's, it's well written. So, you know, he agrees with it. I've got Dr. Stallings as a co-sponsor on the bill. It has like 14 different sponsors with myself on there. And a lot of the people that did not co-sponsor it already said that if it hits the floor, they'll vote for it. So I believe it'll pass the Senate. And I think if it passes the Senate, then it will let people over there know that they got an opportunity to once again do something positive. This is not about me. This is not about the Democrat. This is not about the Republican. It's not about any of the people in power in this building right here. This is about giving thousands upon thousands of people in our state the ability to receive relief from the illnesses that they have. And it might not be the person that actually has the, the, the drug administered to them. It may be the parent that now no longer has to worry about their child beating themselves for hours on end. It's about the parent that, that has a child that can now sit on the couch and not stand in the corner and screaming at the top of his lungs because I knew a family that had a child that was about 12 or 13 years old that did just that. But Richard, you said, hey, everybody would want that kind of relief, but, you, but and you're making it sound as though that, that medicinal marijuana is a cure-all for all these things. No, no, it is it is relief for certain things. It's not every drug, not every illness out there, you know, is medicinal marijuana. But if you have seizures, it, it, it's been proven to, to work. If you have cancer, you're going through chemotherapy, it will allow you to keep meat, weight on your bones, uh, which is absolutely crucial. 
uh, it, it just, you know, the, the, the painful spasms that you have with multiple sclerosis, it's been proven to show results. And maybe somebody who has these illnesses takes it and it doesn't work. Then the doctor can prescribe something else. That's, that's what it's all about. But I'll tell you right now, if I'm a doctor, and I'm prescribing somebody Oxycontin, which has ripped apart communities and has killed thousands. And I think that maybe there's a possibility that medicinal marijuana could work. Why not give me the opportunity to try that? Because if it does work, then my patient is, is, is better for it. Richard Ojeda, State Senator, Democrat, Logan County. What's the bill number again, Richard? It is Senate Bill 386. 386, and where is it? It is right now in the Health Committee, but I believe they're going to let it out. Really? They're going to put I, it on the agenda? So. Uh, it, it's not on there yet, but, I, but actually, after speaking with members on the health and the actual chairman of the health committee, uh, right now they're saying they're going to let it out. And I, like I said, I spoke le uh, yesterday with uh, Senator Carmichael, and he said we're going to run it. All right. Richard, good to see you. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Richard Ojeda, State Senator, Logan County Medicinal Marijuana. Thank you, sir.